Well, hello everyone. So today we are going to try drawing a skull. So let's just get started with the top of his head here. Like so. And the brow is going to be about here. So let's come back a bit. And the nose comes out here. So it doesn't go as far as your actual nose because there's a lot of soft tissue there. So then it comes out here. We've got the eyes sitting inside what we call the eye socket. There's like a big opening here in the skull. And then you've got your side of the head here coming out like so. And then you've got your cheeks right here. This is a side view. So under here, it's gonna be the jaw, so to say. Come down here, and here's the chin. Come back, and the jaw sits underneath here. So there's like a joint here. It's called the temporomandibular joint. And then, kind of comes down a bit like this. All right, so here you've got your teeth. In between so let's just go like this for the upper teeth lower teeth and let's just start drawing some of these teeth so we've got these big molars back here so just kind of curvy and then as they the teeth go more forward they get a little bit narrower and a little bit taller. So we'll just do that and that. I'm not really paying attention to how many teeth there actually are, but this is just kind of like a rough indication. So I'm just gonna keep drawing teeth here. I draw the ones out here towards the front first so that you can draw the ones that kind of wrap around behind the teeth. Okay, so I'm just gonna sort of finalize some of these lines. All right, so here's the jaw, it kind of kind of goes in here. And then I'm gonna start shading some of this here. All right, so as the jaw wraps around farther away from us, It'll be a little bit darker. All right, so let's see here. The bone of the face, the bones of the face sort of mimic your face, but like I said earlier, it doesn't match it exactly just because there's a lot of soft tissue. So like the nose, here's the bottom of the nose and it comes out here with your soft tissue. Your actual nose comes out here. That's why if you touch your tip of your nose right here, you can wiggle it around. But the bone itself is way back here. <clears throat> and then your eye, there's a lot of soft tissue around your eye as well. So let's just go ahead and put a shadow line here and then shade that in like that. Right here. Okay, all of this is in shadow, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cross hatch that. So then, as it comes forward, it'll be less shadow, so I'll lighten up on the pressure of my pencil and or cross hatch less. Okay, so right here, there's a little bit of a change in the, the anatomy here so there's another shadow here so you can see how I made it darker right here and then start lightening up and my part the pressure of my, my pencil and then there's a little bit of a divot here and then it kind of starts um, receding a bit here so I'm gonna put a bit more shadow here and so this area right here, the cheek area, 
doesn't look too flat. I'm adding some more shadows here. So I'm gonna put like a crack here because like I said, the skull is made up of several pieces, different bones, and I'm just gonna draw some of these, you know, squiggly lines. Come back here. And they're basically fused. When you're first born, they're not fused. <clears throat> okay. And so there's another crack like right here along the cheekbone. So anyway, so let's put this whole area in shadow. So I'm going to put a shadow line right there and just start filling that in. And then for the darker parts, I'm going to cross hatch going a different direction to make it look darker. And you can also just vary your line like I often do, just different directions real quick. And then here I'm going to put this in shadow, so I'm going to just vary the pressure of my, my stroke. And then do a few more here, put a little bit of shadow under there, and here, all of these little shadow, these squiggly lines, just help to give it more three-dimensionality. And this part of the jawbone kind of sticks out, so I'm going to leave that a little bit wide, but just underneath that, I'm going to add some shadow. And you can see how I just vary it. Sometimes I cross hash, sometimes I just push harder like here. All right, so like right here, I'm gonna change the shadow from dark right here to light just by lightening up on my stroke. All right, so back here then, we've got this part that's really deep in shadow, so let's just darken that quite a bit and I'm using a lot of pencil pressure right there okay and then like right here there's a bit of a shadow so I'm just gonna use a light stroke same with here and maybe a little cross hatching and what you can do here too is you can use your finger like that to kind of blend it in a bit or and you know you could do that you could leave it just plain plain pencil marks so again here's the jaw joint so I'm gonna go ahead and shadow, uh, put that in shadow a bit give it some three-dimensionality here so this is all three-dimensional, so the edges are gonna tend to be a little darker. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just gonna draw a shadow line and then fill that in with some pencil lines. And to make it recede even more, make that area just next to the pencil line a little bit darker, just like that. Okay, so let's go, go back here. All right, same thing here. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of shading on, by the edges, like that. Okay, and then a little more here, because this part recedes a little bit. All right, continuing on here. All of this is kind of receded in behind this bone right here. So let's just darken this area a bit. And again, I'm going to just use some pressure here. Like that. Okay. I'll just go ahead and use my finger here. Okay, so let's just go here. 
Let's extend the shadow out this way a bit. Maybe go add a little shadow up here and then the back here. All right, so this is the back of the head. Again, I'm gonna, let's say I'm gonna, let's just put a little shadow line like that and fill that in. And here I'm just going one direction first and then maybe add a little cross hatch here and get closer to the edge. And then here I'm just gonna use some pressure where I just push down a bit more on the pencil to get that dark shadow. Like so. As I go over these uh, joints, they're actually called suture lines of the head. So let's go back to this bone here. So let's just add a little bit more shadow under here to show that it's three dimensional. It comes out here. And then back here is actually a hole. So we'll just draw that. And this is actually where your ear comes out. And so there's a hole here for the parts of your ear that lets you hear and it has a path to get to the brain um, so the brain can process all the things that you're listening to so there has to be a hole it can't just be solid so I made that dark to show that it's kind of going in and now let's put a little bit more shadow here okay Okay, and then finally there's this bone that kind of sticks down here, so again, a little shadow, and now this whole part's kind of low, so I'll just go ahead and put this pretty much under shadow. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna pretty much finish it off here. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Quick sketch of the human skull from a side view. And hope you learned something from it. Thanks a lot for watching and enjoy. Have a great day.